Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I have the fourth installment in my 2 pin crystal AM transmitter video. So, here uh, I have a 2 pin crystal AM transmitter like the ones you've seen in my previous videos. But today we decided rather than putting them on a project board or a uh, breadboard, we decided to solder them just in place right here. Now, of course, it's not, it doesn't look like those fancy ones that people in their YouTube videos like to make, but our skills are a little lacking in that field. But anyway, you can see, even though the solder joints are a little, uh, a little janky in some spots, you know, it, it holds together really well. And, uh, so wh where I'm holding it right here with the pos with the, uh, resistor, this is the positive, which it takes five to 12 volts. This section over here is the ground so you hook your negative this right here is your audio input and you can put in a headphone level just turn your volume up and then right here between uh the output here and the resistor right here is where you would uh, have your rf out which if you wanted to hook it into an antenna or a uh, an amplifier but we usually just run it as is and it radiates rf and uh, even though the audio quality is good a few inches away, it can actually cover a good two or three yards away, albeit the signal is a little weak. So here we're using a, uh, well if I turn this around, a 3.579545 megahertz crystal, which uh, the reason it's this particular frequency is because we got it out of uh, a... Uh, VCR, which the 3.579545 is the NTSC color burst, so this would have been a part of the composite video generation circuit. So anyway, without further ado, let's go take this over to a 12 volt power supply and hook it up. So here we are, and we have the uh, 12 volt supply hooked up, and there's the transmitter. Everything's kind of loosely connected, but it works. Here I'm on 3.579, well, 3.58, close enough. And this is, uh, by the way, coming from this iPod here. Let's see, I can uh, turn that down, turn it up. You can see it is responding. Pause it, play it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. It just works. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick video. I just thought you might find it interesting to see that we put together uh, a uh, floating circuit version, uh, however you'd call that. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.